you give up if that had all happened to you like it had happened yes, to me? Yes, yes, I would have. I get yes. put, it happened all fast. I get put in the psych ward for something that I didn't say, that my aunt and uncle said that I supposedly said I was going to blow my brains and my dog's brains well, out. Yeah, we were worried about you. Okay? Well, why would they lie? Why, why lie and say it? Why would why 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 lie and and say that to the cops to get them to come there and arrest me? Brianna, it just didn't. They lied. I mean, they literally lied. If they were wanting to get me help, that's not the right way to do it. Because lying and saying that to get me arrested, that's not the right way to do it. Brianna, you weren't arrested. Uh, you were put in protective uh, uh, custody. Uh, protective custody. And, uh, They did too. They said I said I was gonna blow my brains out with the shotgun. How would I blow my brain out? It doesn't matter if I'm in bad shape. I didn't say that though. You know that I didn't say that. Also, they came in saying that and made it up. They were recording me being sarcastic back to them saying, "Yeah, like I'm gonna blow my brains out." Like I was saying it rhetorically, like that's ridiculous. How am I going to blow my brains out? Do they ever talk, I mean, since then, have they ever said anything about the whole situation? We don't, we, no, we didn't talk about it. Hey, that was in the past. So see, I got beef with Marla. Yeah, well, guess what? Guess what? I can't move on to the future because I got beef with Marla. I got beef with Karen and Dan. I got beef with Lori. I got beef with everybody. Brittany. I mean, think about it. What's the point? Well, What's the point? It's easy for people to say they want to move on whenever they have things that they don't want to have to to admit up to or or you know fix the things that they did wrong. I didn't do anything wrong to be to deserve the way that I was treated. So that's why it's hard for me to move on, especially whenever I have to hear that Brittany doesn't want to have anything to do with me and she's a ruthless. I didn't walk away from anybody. Everybody, everybody, I mean, think about it. They lied and stuff. Do you know how bad it hurt Brittany when you didn't show up when Brody was born? I had moving problems. I didn't get an invitation for his birthday. Surprise, surprise, I didn't get any of the things that she supposedly, anything she sent. No, you, no, she didn't. It was disgust at Christmas that where they might have the birthday, but I never got the invitation because remember the house was up for sale and it was like they didn't know yet if they were going to sell the house yet. That's the only thing I had ever heard about his birthday. I never got the invitation, that, never got his birth announcement that that she said she sent. It actually, she said it got sent back to her house. She said the invitation got sent back to her house. I never got anything that she said she sent to me. I never got the Christmas card that she said she sent to me. I've never gotten anything. I've never even got one photo from him. That's not a good sister, okay? Well, the thing okay, that she sent me, that text that she sent to me that was so long and and ruthless, that right there is, that's a horrible sister, the things that she said. And she's holding against me a text that said I said that she's a cunt like my mom, like her mom. I didn't say that anyways. And that's nothing close. And if she says she don't want to have anything to do with me for that, then he is being neglected from his only, one and only aunt that he will ever have. Yeah, he'll have no uncles, no aunts. I'm his only aunt. So when he grows up, she's going to have to tell him that she's a shitty mom for keeping her son from his only aunt. And whatever she says about me to him when he gets to the point where he starts asking, there'll be lies. I know it will be. I can't stand the way she treats me. How about that? But it doesn't matter what I think, does it? I've never done anything. I left, you know, at Overhill, I left I, when I was working in ICU at 3 in the morning to go pick her up and, at, on Commercial Street because she was walking around drunk. Do you know that I had to go, when Dad was up there, he, was, she, he went up there to get her at a club and she was so drunk that she, he pulled her out of the club and she started yelling rape and dad had to call me and Jason to come to because the cops were detaining him because she was yelling rape. And I, we had to go there to say, tell the cops that, so they wouldn't arrest them because she was yelling rape. Did you know all the times that a, 
I lived with her all the things that she did, the things when she tried to stab me, when she ran down the road butt naked, all the booty contests that she did that I had to hear about from my friends that I told them I didn't want to hear where she would grab her pussy, where she would throw her skirt out to the crowd. Yeah, it's in the past. Yeah, guess what? I guess it's in the past also that she, that I supposedly sent this text to, right? It's in the past that Brody was born too, right? That's on the past, right? <laughs>